Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss some important multiple choice questions from Unit 1 of Basic Electrical and Electronics Engineering. So, first question Ohm's law states that current directly proportional to voltage across the conductor. Current directly proportional to voltage across the conductor when temperature remains constant. Third option, current directly proportional to temperature of the conductor. And the fourth option is I equal to V into R. So, according to Ohm's law, the correct answer is current directly proportional to voltage across the conductor when the temperature remains constant. So, this is very very important in Ohm's law. So, the answer is option B. So, next question. Kirchhoff's voltage law states that. So, here it is Kirchhoff's voltage law. So, in that definition, there will be definitely voltage. So, option A, the sum of the currents flowing towards a junction is equal to sum of the current flowing away from it. Option B, in a closed circuit, sum of potential drop is equal to sum of potential rise. Then option C, algebraic sum of the voltages around the closed circuit is 0. Option D, current flowing through the circuit is directly proportional to voltage across the conductor when the temperature remains constant. So here in the first option, there is current. So the first option is wrong. Then in the second option, we are having potential drop is equal to the sum of the potential rise. So, this option is the correct answer. Also, the third option, algebraic sum of the voltages around the closed circuit is 0. So, this option is also right answer. Therefore, the answer is option B and C. Next question, Kirchhoff's current law states that the sum of the current flowing towards a junction is equal to the sum of the current flowing away from it. Then option B, in a closed circuit, sum of potential drop is equal to the sum of potential rise. Option C, algebraic sum of the voltages around the closed circuit is 0. Option D, current flowing through a circuit is directly proportional to voltage across the conductor when the temperature remains constant. We know the fourth option is Ohm's law. Then second option and third option is Kirchhoff's voltage law. Therefore, the first option is the Kirchhoff's current law. Sum of the current flowing towards a junction is equal to the sum of the current flowing away from it. So, the answer is option A. Next question. In nodal analysis, which law is used? Either Kirchhoff voltage law, Kirchhoff current law, Kirchhoff voltage law and Ohm's law or Kirchhoff's current law and Ohm's law? The correct answer is option D. Kirchhoff's current law and Ohm's law. Next question. In mesh analysis, Kirchhoff's voltage law is used. Then option B, Kirchhoff's current law. Option C, Kirchhoff's voltage law and Ohm's law. Then option D, Kirchhoff's current law and Ohm's law. The answer is option C, Kirchhoff's voltage law and Ohm's law. So, always remember in nodal analysis, Kirchhoff's current law and Ohm's law and in mesh analysis, Kirchhoff's voltage law and Ohm's law are used. Next question, if two resistors R1 and R2 are connected in parallel, then the equivalent resistance value is so, four options are given R1 plus R2 divided by R1 R2, R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2, R1 plus R2, R1 R2. So, if two resistors are connected in parallel means then the equivalent resistance value is R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So, the answer is option B. Next question. If two equal resistors are connected in parallel, then the equivalent resistance value is. So, here two equal resistors. Equal resistance means both the resistor are having the same resistance value. So, if both the resistors are connected in parallel means 
then the equivalent resistance can be directly written as R divided by 2. So, the answer is option A. Next question. If three equal resistors are connected in parallel, then the equivalent resistance value is R divided by 3. So, if two resistors are connected in parallel means R divided by 2 and three resistors means then it is R divided by 3. So, the answer is option B. Next question, current division rule. So, current in each branch is equal to total current into other branch resistance divided by sum of two branch resistances. Option B, current in each branch is equal to total current into same branch resistance divided by sum of two branch resistances. Then option C, current in each branch is equal to total current into sum of two branch resistances divided by same branch resistance. Then option D, current in each branch is equal to total current into sum of two branch resistances divided by other branch resistance. So the correct answer is option A. That is total current into other branch resistance divided by sum of two branch resistances. Next question. Voltage division rule. So here also four options are given. The correct answer is voltage across one branch is equal to total voltage into same branch resistance divided by sum of two branch resistances. Next question. If 4 ohm and 6 ohm resistances are connected in parallel. And this combination is connected in series with 3 ohm resistor. Then what is the equivalent resistance between them? So here 4 ohm and 6 ohm are connected in parallel. So if it is connected in parallel means then we have to find by R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So that is the formula. So 4 into 6 divided by 4 plus 6. Then this parallel resistances is connected in series with the 3 ohm resistor. So, we have to add the answer with the 3 ohm resistor. So, equivalent resistance value is R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. So, the answer is option C, 5.4 ohm. Next question. A resistance is connected in dash with the current source. So, always remember for a current source, the resistor will be connected in parallel only. So, the answer is parallel. Next question, a resistance is connected in dash with the voltage source. So, for voltage source, the resistor will be connected in series. So, the answer is series. Next question, if n is the number of nodes in a circuit, then number of nodal equations are n minus 1. So, if you are having n nodes means, then there will be n minus 1 nodal equations. Next question, if capital N is the number of nodes in a circuit and B is the number of branches in the circuit, then the number of mesh equations are. So, four options are given. The correct answer is option C, B minus N plus 1. So, here B is the number of branches, N is the number of nodes. Next question, the expression for power in a DC circuit is P equal to V into I. So, this is also a correct answer. Then P is equal to I square R. This is also a correct answer. P is equal to V square by R. So, the answer is option D. All of the above. Next question, a 12 ohm resistor has a specified maximum power dissipation of 1 watt. So, here the resistance value is given, then power value is also given. Calculate the maximum current. So, they have asked to calculate the current. So, we know the formula P equal to I square R. So, in this we have to substitute it and we have to calculate the current. So, the answer is option A, 0.288 ampere. Next question, a 5 ohm resistor has a voltage rating of 100 volts. What is its power rating? So, here 
resistor value is given then voltage value is also given therefore p is equal to v squared by r from this we have to calculate the power so the answer is option b 2000 watts next question a resistor with a current of 3 ampere through it converts 500 joules of electrical energy in 12 seconds what is the voltage across the resistor so we know the energy equation e is equal to power into time or we can write v into i into t so v into i is nothing but power so e is equal to v into i into t in this we have to substitute it and find out the voltage so the answer is option a 1388 volts so next question rms value is defined as four options are given option a the value of steady direct current which produces the same heat as that produced by the alternating current when passed through the same resistor for the same interval of time so this option is also correct then the second option root of area of the squared curve for one cycle per period so this is also another definition for rms value then form factor into average value this is also another definition for rms value root mean square value so the answer is option d next question average value is defined as area under the curve over one complete cycle divided by base or time period next question form factor is defined as rms value divided by average value rms means root mean square value next question peak or crest factor is defined as maximum value divided by rms value next question rms value of sine wave is im divided by root 2 next question rms value of full rectified sine wave is again it is im divided by root 2 next question rms value of half rectified sine wave is im divided by 2 so for half rectified sine wave it is im divided by 2 here im is the maximum current i hope this video is useful for preparing an INST exam as well as competitive exam if you like this video kindly subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you